guys, welcome back. Okay, so this is, are they stuck in mud or quicksand or are we moving forward? Um, so we're going to use deck one and deck two. Um, I need to give you uh, my tarot shop a little bit of a shout out. So if any of you want to know where I get my unique tarot decks from, I buy them from one place. And they've been super, super helpful, and I thought I'd share it all with you. Um, they are fabulous. It's called the Little Red Tarot Shop. Com. Um, so go have a look. The, the, all the unique decks are on there because um, I like to use my unique ones. So that is a shout out for them. Um, so go have a look. Go have a look at the decks. You'll love them. You will love them. Um, okay. So this is going to be. Are we stocking water? So this is from their shop. Deck one and deck two. Deck one and deck two. Um, so deck one, deck two. Sorry guys, one, two. Um, what was the other thing I wanted to say? Someone was asking me, uh, someone else that runs a YouTube channel, how, how I work. Um, and if I ever switch off, and I'm gonna do, I think on the next live feed I'll tell you a little bit about how I work, but um, I always say to people, it's a bit, because I'm clairaudient, it's one of the rarest gifts there is. Um, and so it, it's a bit like a radio or church bells if you hear it in the background it's that it like the radio is always on when you're doing stuff but it's only when you stop and listen and you tune in that's when you get the messages and that's how i work one and two it's just, i'm just work on a radio dial <laughs> i work on it but that's the clear audience you know and clear audience is really really rare if someone says to you oh i'm clear audience most of the time they'll be clear cognizant um i clear cognizance when it comes to your thoughts i hear accents um i hear people standing on different sides Bet number one. I hear people standing on different sides of me. Um, but yeah, it's like a radio dial. Like, I don't really sleep. I get about four or five hours sleep a night. I astral travel. I'm always on the quest for more. And um, the guy said to me, I said to my guy the other day, um, when does this, this lust for life ever stop? And he says, but my dear, beautiful Alexandra, you were, you were born for so much more than just to live. And I was like, oh. Well, that's fun, isn't it? You know? Um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to, like, if you're interested, because a lot of people have been asking me recently about how I work, because I'm obviously, I'm a spiritual life coach, I'm a teacher, I teach everything, I teach mediumship through to travelling, through to palmistry, through to reading tea leaves, through to a bit of sacred geometry, a bit of numerology, I do everything, just a general spirit teacher. Um, so yeah, so if you want to know more, let write it beneath and I can bring it up in the next live feed. We can have a bit of a talk about it before I do your cards. Anyway, I've gone off on one. So can you get me into my debt number one, thoughts, feelings, emotions, overall energy and thought processes? And can you get me, think about your person, into their person's thoughts, feelings, emotions, overall energy and thought processes? Are they stuck? Are they moving or are they stuck? My beautiful deck number ones. Okay, can you tell me please, those that pick deck number one, are they feeling stuck or are they their person moving forward? Are they feeling stuck? <sighs> Devil card, are they feeling stuck or are they moving forward? Also the way I read, um, I'm more than an intuitive tarot reader, I'm a medium, so it's all channeled, which is why um, I just tell you what spirit tell me, along with what the cards say. Um, and all um, amalgamates and merges together. Can I get in? Are they stuck or are we moving forward? So I work, I work in so many different ways. Oh, there he is, not pentacles, no surprises there. Are they stuck or are they moving forward? We'll have those three, Let's put those ones back. My guide has just told me to pull. Two of these for an overall outcome. <sighs> Can I have two of these for the overall outcome of debt number one? Are they stuck or moving forward? I'll put them on debt two so I don't forget. Okay, oh, you've got three. 
your person is going to move forward, but at the moment they are stuck. That's the gist of it. So they are feeling some echo of heartbreak and pain, which is also you feeling the echo and heart pain. What you are doing with one another is you are mirroring the same kind of emotions. Now your person is hiding from this, whereas you are kind of purging it and pushing right through the center of it and feeling all the weights of it, all the heaviness. The heart-centered emotions are at the top. There is a lot of love between the two of you. They are still stuck in mud at the moment, or they're not in quicksand, they're not being drowned, they are moving forward, but they are stuck in mud. With the hanged man here feeling all stuck, and the devil card, the fears are magnifying, and they are worried that this heartache is gonna repeat and repeat and repeat. And that's one of their main fears, that's why they're stuck moving forward. They can't seem to see the wood through the trees at the moment. They go into hermit road. A lot of them have retreated from this situation. So some of you are in contact, some of you aren't in contact. And those of you that are in a relationship and you feel like you can't get through to your person, that is because they are in hermit mode. They are thinking everything through. They go into a man cave or a woman cave to process everything. They get their Mr. Fix It hit, fix it hats on and try to come up with a solution um but when they are hurting and in pain with the three of swords cards all they do in this man cave is feel sorry for themselves or woman cave um, they feel sorry for themselves they can't seem to process it once they come out the other side those of them that haven't messaged you they sh they uh, they um yeah they yeah they say they should have said i will be back later give me a bit of time that's what spirit are saying they're not gone forever, they've gone for the time being. And they're stuck in mud, you're still in their thoughts of the Queen of Swords, they need you to stand in your strong, independent energy. Um, if you try to push on them at the moment that you need fixing or you need help, they won't know how to handle that because they are, can't even help themselves and they can't work out what to do about the relationship. So it's best for you if you can stand in your power, stand, log uh, well you don't even have to stand logical, but be, be the bitch be the power, be the my way or the highway. They need you to stand strong for them at the moment because they can't do it. They feel weak, they feel vulnerable and they won't open up their emotions to you about that because they don't know how. Um, Knight of Pentacles is here making moves towards you. Some of you are third party as well with three of pentacles. For my little third party followers, again, try not to worry about it if you are not in contact. What they are doing is assessing the situation. They're working out what they need to do about it. If they are involved with someone else, and um, try and make them the third party, not you. Um, they're working it all out, they're processing it. But the Knight of Pentacles, for all of you watching this, this person is moving towards you, but at the speed of a, we're on a dragon today. We're moving, we are moving. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. Once they start doing that, you've got the sun energy in both decks, happy outcomes, things moving forward, divine masculine energy, happiness, joy, contentment. Um, six months from now, your situations will be largely different for the majority of you. So try to focus on the happier energies that are coming. Try not to focus on lack because you will create more lack. You've got the another Queen of Swords and Three of Cups cards over here, so your cards are echoing each other. Stand in your power and you will get the answers that you want, you will get the celebration. Manifest the, the outcomes you desire, watch the manifesting video if you haven't watched it. If you want your personal manifestation plans to in or a like spiritual life coaching stuff to help you move forward, let me know. Ace of Pentacles, standing on the cusp of your new beginnings, they're ready to embrace it, they just need you to be more stable while they work out what they want. So they're not really stuck in mud, they are moving forward, the boots are a bit dirty, um, but there is movement and they're moving towards you and they're going to come to you with new futures, new beginnings, new offers, new enjoyment, new lust for life with all those song cards, but they need you to stand strong and in your power and be on their side rather than against them. That's the gist of it, for, that's your mutual collective energy on it, which is quite interesting. Okay, let me do deck number two. So if you want to book a private reading, as always, email mrlotaro at gmail.com. I do 15 minutes, half an hour or singular questions. My wait time at the moment is 7 to 10 days because I have a lot of you. Um, but yeah, okay, let's do deck number two. Then you get me into my collector's energy of deck number two. So as always, this is going to work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. And think about your person. Can I get into their person's thoughts, feelings, emotions, overall energy and thought processes, please? And two more. 
are they stuck or are they moving towards you? Can you tell me please, is that person stuck or are they making moves towards them? Are we stuck in mud? Are we stuck in glue? What else can you get stuck in? Yeah. Bless them. Bless the little hearts. Are they stuck in mud? Are they stuck or are they moving towards the person watching? So as always, it'll work on your collective mutual anything. anything? Collective mutual energy. But if anything doesn't resonate, to follow it, to uh, remember it for a later date, because normally it flags off in a month or so. Okay. Some of your people on this deck are with someone else at the moment, and that is why they are feeling stuck with the Three of Cups, Justice, and Eight of Cups. So they've walked away from the situation to see what's going to be happening. This is a karmic partner they are now involved in. Um, that's not all of you. That's some of you within this reading. They are with someone else. Please do not place your energy onto the person that they are with, that it isn't you. Because what you are doing is manifesting that relationship and you're pressing pause on it yourself. So just be aware of that. Try and make that person more irrelevant, okay? There is a karmic partnership. It doesn't, the karmics don't ever work out. Um, they can do. To be fair, they can work out, but the likelihood isn't, is that they won't once the karmic contracts are coming to an end. Um, for those of you that aren't the third party relationships, these are saying that they've walked away from the situation for the time being um, to go and focus on themselves, see how they're feeling about it. You are the lighter energies, these are the masculine energies, these are the feminine energies. You are still in their thoughts, so thinking about you three times a day. That's just come from spirit. Thinking about you three times a day, possibly more. Justice end of a situation so a lot of you in this deck have walked away they have walked away from it for the time being now the reason that they have done that is because it wasn't quite going how they wanted it to um it wasn't quite going how you wanted it to the relationship was a whole lot of oosh, a lot of things kind of going on um but they are clinging on to the situation at the moment they're seeing how they're feeling um they're trying to work they're trying to process it all they're trying to work out what the right thing is for everyone who is involved within this situation um but they are still hanging on to hope that you and them will work out they have got the page of pentacles card so they're making choices and decisions based on you they will come to you with some kind of an offer with their tail between the legs with the little guy with his, it's a flower but it looks like a tail a lot of them will come back and pretend that nothing ever happened um some of them will come back to you with sexual offers i'm being told to tell you uh, that kind of echoes the live feed love lost and love lust and loss the other day echoes that but there is a lot of passion coming towards you they are going to make moves back towards you with it all um but it's not yet at the moment they're just stuck in the mud they're trying to gather their strength they know that this is a spiritual relationship even though they don't want to admit it all the green is heart-centered emotions they can see the pieces of jigsaw fitting in it's also a bit like the wheel of fortune card it's turning in your direction but you have got to give this time and it's fortunately it's not in your time it's in divine time it's not even in your person's time can i have two clarifying cards for this relationship are they stuck or are they coming, moving forward? So your person, once they've worked it all out, once they've decided that they can't live without you, they're going to come forward with passionate energy for you. But at the moment, they're just standing there with the page of pentacles. They're feeling that they made a major cock up. They're feeling that they don't know how to go about it. They're missing you. They're, they've lost you. They, karma has kind of, the karma between you and them has really been repaid on a higher divine level but they can feel it moving forward they're just not sure how to go about it at the moment so they're hiding from it and clinging on to hope that you and them will make it back together once the page steps up to the night once they've gathered their strength though you and your person will move forward hearts and emotions jigsaw pieces are going to fit together um so they are they aren't even stuck at the moment they've just turned their back on it for a little while but that's it it's just a little while can i have two cards please for deck two yeah, Six of Pentacles, working it all out. Again, that could be third party with some of you. Um, third party doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship. It can be work, it can be family, it can be people influencing it. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be infidelity. Let me stop there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Being trapped by the situation at this point in time. Eight of Swords, working it all out, processing it through. Worlds, divine, twin plane, uni 
the union end of cycles beginning of new ones who we've got here you've got the knight of pentacles sitting at the top of this deck okay so there is going to be movement it's going to be movement on their time and not on your time so just go with the flow let it happen try not to fight it manifest the outcome that you want not that what you don't want push the situation forward um within your mind try not to focus on lack focus on the fact that they want to come back to you so just imagine as if they are in your life already act as if they are in your life um if you want us to look at manifesting it and getting some of those life coaching techniques put into your plans we can do that just email mr love tarot at gmail.com if you want to find me on instagram again these are all i'm just gonna forever now be doing subscribers requests for the reading so if you want to um, find me on Instagram, it's just Mystic Love Tarot. Um, I put competitions and all sorts on there for freebies and tarot decks. My personal tarot decks are sent out to people. So that's all on there. Um, try not to worry. Try not to, to focus on fear. Shift that fear, purge it, release it, focus on you, shift the energy back to you and your situation will shift. It, you ain't got long to wait. But by waiting, you're kind of pressing pause, so you've got to just keep focusing on you, focus on moving the situation forward, and it will happen. It will. All right, darling, sending loads of love to you all. I love you all too, by the way, um, and I'll speak to you soon. Lots of love. Bye.